Hello, hello, hello! Well, let me be the first to say, welcome back. I won't be here next year, but you may be. <laughs> These guys over here have anything to do with it. They're both trouble. Look, it's great to have so many UConn friends and fans here today with us, including Education Secretary Miguel Cardona. You know, <laughs> Miguel's a slow learner. He has four degrees of credentials from UConn. I told him that equals one from Delaware. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. He could make the damn basketball team, but there's no doubt he's a Husky through and through, man. And my personal aide, Jacobs, who sits outside the Oval Office, played tennis at UConn. Jake, but you'd think during basketball season he played basketball. It's all he talks about, man. All he talks about. We're also joined by several good friends and members of Congress. Senator Blumenthal is a good friend of my deceased son, Bo, and Senator Murphy. Stand up, guys. Come on. <laughs> and a former senator from the state of Connecticut, you'd think he'd gone to UConn, and a great friend, Chris Dodd. Chris here? Get up, Get up. The Dodd Center is at the University of Connecticut, isn't it? Your, your, your dad and your — yeah, well, I'll tell you what, man. They intimidate you? <laughs> they, they, January 20th, 2020, following the loss to Villanova, Coach Hurley said, quote, people better get us now. That's all. You better get us now. Damn, Coach, you were right. <laughs> Four years later, for the first time in 17 years, there's back-to-back -back men's college basketball champions, the UConn Huskies. And I got two future Huskies right there going to play on the basketball team, right in the front row here. And for the sixth time in just 25 years, UConn Huskies are top the men's basketball world again, man. That's pretty cool. It wasn't easy. Last year, you started un underestimated. The only thing is, you only lost three-star players the previous season in the NBA. People questioned whether or not you had the talent to go back-to-back. -back. I guess they didn't see you guys standing up, man. <laughs> oh, although I should note, uh, I picked you guys on my ticket. <laughs> And this morning, I picked the mayor's South Carolina girls. I made a lot of money. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Chris, that is a joke. <laughs> but man, you proved everybody wrong. You were a force winning the Big East in the regular season title, winning the Big East tournament, winning the NCAA tournament games by an average of 23 points you won those games. But even though you made it look easy, at times, you know, you made a lot of sacrifices. The trust you built in each other, taking the time to the court, knowing every team in America was going after you. Every time you showed up on the court, you're the number one target. And uh, but you're winners, and winners win. You know, you know that that winning takes a lot of work. We know that. Together, you capped off one of the most successful two-year runs in the in the history of the sport ushering in a new era of UConn's men's basketball, passing the likes of Duke and Indiana for all-time national titles. <laughs> and now there's no doubt at all about who are the blue bloods of basketball. <laughs> well, this team sending four players to the NBA draft this year, this university is sending 11 athletes to the Paris Olympics. There's clearly something. You must have something in the water up there, man. I don't know what you all are drinking. <laughs> Coach, you've said that UConn has been running college basketball for 30 years. 
With you at the helm, I think they better get ready for another 30. <laughs> Every single, one, every single one of you embodies the, the, I don't know, the possibilities of your school, your state, and this great nation. So congratulations to you all, and may God support our troops and bless our troops. I want to hand this over now to Coach Hurley, who's going to say a few words how I'm going to fill in next year. <laughs> as, a, as a player. No. Anyway, Coach, the floor is yours. You're the good man. Everywhere we go, <laughs> everywhere we go, we say this thing, right? Every, every arena that we go into, we start when we, when we enter a place, and it's, uh, the champs are here. I thought you started with dragon underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not just the dragons. I have sharks. I have wolves. Oh. I ride the hot hand, you know? Uh, and I actually... Uh, I don't just make the dragons do the games. I actually got the dragons on right now as a, a reward for the dragons. Uh, they're on right now. Um, yeah, I thought this would be easier in year two. Oh, man, I've been to the White House before. It is scary as shit. Uh, <laughs> stick, stick to the script? All right. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> uh, you're just thank you, Mr. President, and obviously everyone in here, you know, who, who's joined us, uh, you know, for uh, for the celebration today. Um, you know, we said it last year. We wanted to make this thing an, an annual visit for us, and uh, you know, here we are again as as uh, as back-to-back -back champs, right back here. So. Uh, uh, you know, obviously thrilled to be here. Our, our goal really going into the year, um, we knew we had the potential to have a special team. And it was like a real simple mindset that we were trying to create, which was like, let's just win every single, uh, you know, tournament or every opportunity to win a championship. Like, let's just win everything. And there were five opportunities for us to win championship trophies during the course of the season, and we, and we won <laughs> we won all five. Uh, <laughs> you know, b being a championship program, I think everyone in the organization understands the standards uh, and the way we go about our business uh, in the organization. It's the highest possible standards that we hold each other to. Uh, we understand that because we've climbed the mountain before. Uh, and this team here, was a, it was a different group of men that we took the court with uh, this year and, um, you know, produced even greater results and an even, an even greater team and, and a team that will go down uh, as one of the most dominant teams in college basketball history, the way we just destroyed everybody. Um, from those early season tournaments uh, all the way through to uh, you know, the Big East tournaments and, and March Madness, uh, you know, we won everything. Our kind of, our mindset is like uh, relentless competitiveness with the way we go about things, uh, a focus on just consistent improvement. Uh, you know, we mindfully communicate with each other. I don't do that with the refs, but <laughs> <laughs> with each other, we do well with it. Um, and then we, we really... Um, you know, we, we, we're really a strong pack of Huskies here. You know, we don't have any, uh, you know, any weakness in the group here. It is just an incredibly strong, uh, you know, group of men. Uh, their relentlessness, uh, their resilience and toughness, their talent, their skill, um, the preparation, their connection and brotherhood and the way they sacrifice for each other. Uh, we played a brand of basketball that was absolutely beautiful to watch and absolutely dominant. Um, and, uh, but then all we can think about is winning the next one. It's weird as shit. Uh, <laughs> sorry again. <laughs> I just don't know where I am. Uh, strengthened by our success uh, as a program, you know, our focus, again, is, 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 uh, is, is quickly turning to our pursuit of this third national championship in a row, potentially, yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
today. I mean, today's like an incredible moment for us to pause because basically you just celebrate cool stuff like this and then just work really hard. You know, like that's basically all that this thing is. Um, and, and, and for us right now, it's just like, um, you know, lock in on this repeat, celebrate these incredible players that we've lost, and then, uh, you know, go get ready to, uh, to truly make history in college basketball next year as the, uh, as the first repeat champion uh, since Coach Wooden and truly do something historic, and that is not lost on any of us. The enormity of our season coming up is, uh, uh, is, is special, so we're excited about that. Uh, but thank you, President, for giving us the opportunity to be here, and uh, it's uh, only the champs come in here. You know, there's no, you know, no participation or high score, you know. Oh, I was the high score. I had a triple-double. I'm going, no. Triple-doubles don't get you in the White House. You've got to be a champion to get in here, and we're in here. Um, Mr. President, uh, we'd like to have you add something to your Yukon collection of, <laughs> of championship swag. Stand up, any parents, stand up, come on.